love you. I love you. Yes. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome day. Love you. Into the best she goes. All right, the wife's off to work. You know what that means. Girls, you know what that means? Yeah, it's party time. We're gonna party, but first, coffee. How's it going everybody? My name is Patrick and this is the Pacific Northwesting YouTube channel. We're going to be shooting a day in the life of today, kind of a little vlog, just kind of covering what uh, kind of the day-to-day -day routine is for me while my wife is at work and uh, just the different things that I do to maintain a happy wife, happy life kind of scenario. So for those of you who don't know, we recently moved to the beautiful Pacific Northwest, uh, the Oregon coast, Brookings, Oregon to be specific, uh, from small town Idaho, a little town called Fruitland, Idaho, right on the Oregon-Idaho border. My wife was offered a better job, better, better retirement, um, all within her current company. So she took it, she made the move, and we started the house hunt. We sold our house in Idaho. And we made the move over here once we found a house. Now, our house that we bought over here is not the best house by any means. It's, it's, a, it's a big house. We went from like a 900 square foot house to a 2012 or 14 square foot house. So it was a nice upgrade. But at the same time, it came at a cost because our budget you know, wasn't, we didn't have the budget for a house like this, but when we came across this house, which turned out to be quite the fixer upper, uh, we decided we needed to jump on it and make it our own. So we made the purchase. We moved in here about a month ago and we haven't really unpacked yet. We've been living in the living room, kitchen area. We have our bed set up here. Let me, let me show you. So we have my office here in the corner. We have the bed in that corner. Don't mind the artificial sunlight. And then it shoots into the kitchen area here. Look at all that. Look at all this. It's just cluttered everywhere because we haven't been able to unpack, unfortunately. Hi, Marley. What are you doing over there? Having a drink. Yeah, I see your butt. Izzy, can you go potty or anything yet? Who's who's going to lay there all day? Whatever. You do your thing. So a quick story behind our house, without naming any names or going into too much detail. Um, it was a rental. Um, it had been rented by the same family unit for the last, I think, five years. Um, the people who owned the house before we bought it had tried to sell it once before. And um, the sale fell through, having to do with a foundation issue. Turns out a little bit of the house may or may not be falling into a goalie. We'll, we'll, have, we'll cover that in a future video. Trust me on this. Trust me on this. Um, it's not technically falling into a goalie. An engineer came out, fixed the foundation, blah, blah, blah. But they couldn't sell the house to that person, so it became a rental for them for a few years, and then they sold it, and we bought it. Um, with it being on the other side of the state, it was kind of hard for us to do a walkthrough or anything. But we did do one walkthrough before we finalized the purchase. The walkthrough, it was a little deceiving. You know, I, we should have known, we, we, we'd only bought one house prior and it was, you know, years and years and years ago. Um, we should have known we walked into a house and it smelled like roses, that it was probably covering up years and years of cat peepees and dander and just destruction. 
and everything we came across were mobile homes that were in just kind of similar shape to this, you know, but, but not. Um, so anyways, we moved in and it, the house was absolutely terrible. The house was in just horrendous shape. Um, once it gets a little brighter and I start working on some stuff today, I'll show you, you know, what the walls and stuff look like because they're still in pretty rough shape. But we've re we removed 900 square feet of carpet that was soaked in cat urine. Not only was it soaked in cat urine, but it looked like it had never, never been cleaned, probably rarely vacuumed. And there were stains on it that led me to believe maybe a Saw movie or a, some sort of horror movie had been filmed in a couple of the bedrooms. Uh, walls had holes punched in them, kicked in them, doors were broken. Um, the tile floor that's in the kitchen and bathroom, master bathroom, it's it's in pretty good shape. It, I mean, it's got a couple broken tiles, nothing crazy. The fake wood floor that's down here in the living room and the base of the stairs, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it cleaned up. It doesn't have any odor, and it's it's great. So we're keeping that as it is right now. We have carpet coming in for the upstairs, the staircase, the two bedrooms, my office, and the closets, and the master bedroom. We have those coming here within the month. Uh, we went with Home Depot to have that done. So with that being said, uh, once we got all the carpets out within the first few days and the pads and everything, the smell started to clear out. It started smelling better. So far, I've gone through and I have rolled uh, two layers of kills upstairs on all the wood and taking care of the odor up there. Um, we're going to film some footage of... I'm pointing out there. My beard. Uh, we're going to film some footage of rolling the master bedroom. We still have another coat or two to put on there, move stuff around. I have some wall repair that we still need to do today. Um, I've got my office and the hallway done, but I can I still need to work on the upstairs bathroom as well as the spare bedroom and the master bedroom. Um, and and uh, we're going to tackle, obviously, the living room, kitchen, and master bathroom later after these projects are done because we need to get our house livable uh, before we do anything else, really. That's just kind of what it comes down to. So with all that being said, I'm going to get into it. Uh, first thing I have to do this morning is get some packages ready to ship out for my dice shop. Um, you can find uh, the link to that in the description below. I do have an inner nerd that I feed dice to. And in order for me to have all the dice I want to have in my collection, I had to start buying in bulk and selling. So uh, epicloot.com Epic was born, and that's kind of what became of it. So yeah, got some packages I need to ship out today. We'll get that recorded. Um, we're gonna work on the house, we're gonna record that. We'll kind of do a walkthrough of some things, check things out. This is just kind of our first like a day in the life of Pacific Northwesting video.
All right, so far so good. We got our packages shipped out. Um, the dogs are probably about ready for their walk, but it is raining like crazy right now. So I'm hoping maybe we'll get some uh, clear skies for a dog walk. Uh, until then, I am going to finish my coffee, continue waking up, and I'll see you when we start working on the house. Well, we're going to work on the master bedroom a little bit right now. Um, I've started the floors. Uh, half of the room is already done where I've taken up all the tack board and tacks and put a layer of kills down. Done a little bit of work on the walls, but not much. Um, still needs a lot of work down here in this room, but we're going to get the floors rolled and get everything ready so I can start uh, getting the walls done. Cause I gotta get it painted cause we're gonna have carpet soon. So what do you think of that, Izzy? Does that sound like a good idea to you? So master bedroom here. Let's do a quick, we'll do a quick spin around. Already patched and spackled that spot. I don't think most of the plugins work here. It makes me really curious, like, just like what kind of freaking people were living here. So anyways, I've already ripped the carpet padding. Like I said, rolled half the floor, if not a little more than half. Got all, my, got all our bedroom stuff tucked back over there. Um, and then if you walk around the corner here, excuse my tools, we have our walk-in closet, which also is going to get rolled and everything. But just look at the condition of these walls. For example, like I said, I already started patching some spots just because it was driving me nuts. Um, I need to sand this all down, but this was a patch that was done before I moved in. Like what? You can just like, like what the hell is that? So that's that's gotta go. Um, the walls are just there. filthy, 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 filthy. Uh, there's literally like spots. I've patched most of them. It's hard to see, but if you look here, you can see these, these scratch marks. Some of them have been filled, like I said. There's these scratch marks all along these window sills. And I know this was a cat house. So my assumption is that cat did not want to be in this house. And uh, he was trying to escape. So I don't even have a cover on that light fixture. just realized that. So anyways, we're going to get some work done in here. Um, and be one step closer to getting ready to paint. Did I just realize I should be stacking all of this stuff in the center? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Let's try that. Yeah. These are saddles for the horses we've never owned.
we're gonna take a quick look at what's left over here. Again, a lovely freaking patch job. Stupid. Random cables just coming out of everywhere. Bunch of holes to take care of still. Um, glue and stuff on the floor, it's not a big deal. We're gonna take the flathead shovel and take up all these tacks that are in the cement. Apparently someone loved Dutch Bros and Pokemon. And uh, that's not even my patchwork. Someone <laughs> Someone's in there patching stuff up. What has happened in this house? Just what? What is, what is going on in this house? I'm gonna lean out the window. <laughs> I just gotta know. I wish I could get the history of just like the fly on the wall history of like what the heck. So anyways, let's get to work on that.
done. Uh, once this dries, I will start working on patching the walls. But until then, it's time to go upstairs. Izzy, Marley, you want to take a break from this crap and uh, go on a walk? You guys want to go on an adventure? All right. Yeah, you do? What about you? You want to go too? You have to anyway. Sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble, mamas. Let's do this. All right, girls. Let's go on a walk. Uh, ignore... <laughs> Ignore that. That is not from them. I was here when we moved in. Here you go, my lord. Y'all are crazy. Calm it down. I know you can't be calm. All right, let's go. One of our many walks a day up to the little airport that's up here above our house. Yes, my mighty steeds, pull me up the hill. Holy bananas. There smells to be smelled.
All right, now we start our upstairs adventure for the day. Um, I had started work on this almost immediately because it was really, really bad. Um, everything up here was soaked and with it being wood floors, uh, I needed to get it all up, get it taken care of as quickly as possible. So let me get you caught up to speed where we're at up here. I've started patching the walls. This is, actually this might be a little more helpful. Upstairs, schnoodaloodaloop. This is all skip trowel. I hate skip trowel. That light doesn't work. Sure, it's just a bulb. Uh, I don't know what happened up here, but they did do some work in patching. Um, so great, I guess. Uh, the floors, I've taken care of all the floors. We have a bathroom down there. We're actually getting a vanity installed or delivered today. I'll be installing later. It's just our, uh, just one of the bedroom or the spare bathroom, if you will. Then we have the room that's going to be my office. I've already started patching some of the walls up here. I went through and kind of just marked all the stuff I think needs attention. You should be able to see. I'll give her a big old, big, some big holes, some little holes. Still need to sand down some patch spots, but uh, there's still a little tannin stain that came up through those two layers of kills, but there's absolutely no odor. And uh, we're having, like I said, we're gonna have carpet installed, so I'm not too worried about it. But we do need to do some more patching and some caulk work, you know, just caulking on the trims and door jams. And then we bought, let's see what we count. I think it was like 40 outlets or something ridiculous that needed replaced. So, I mean, this room alone has one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, so we've got like a whole bunch of outlets we're replacing. Every room has like a million cable lines running into it. Why? Why do that? Doors were just trashed. We don't have a door on the bathroom or on this one. Um, <clears throat> this is the spare bedroom, guest bedroom, and the bedroom that my wife runs away to when I'm snoring in the middle of the night. A laying mattress there. Um, <laughs> this bedroom was just absolutely trashed. You can see just like, instead of marking spots on the wall, I literally just said, this whole, this whole wall. And it was the same for that one. This whole room, it just became this whole room. It all needs patched. Like, look at this. I'll do my best to fill in everything I can and then come back through, obviously, and sand stuff down. But uh, there's just so much. I don't understand how this, I don't understand how this house was treated like this, honestly. Like, super depressing to, know that this house is just treated like poop. Like, like, look at this, look at this door jam, ready? I'm gonna start just, we're just gonna go over this door jam here. Why you got so many holes? In the back? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? One thing I really do like about um, the upstairs hallway, it's kind of narrow and everything, but sometimes when I'm getting wild, I uh, just go out this window and go hang out on the roof. Got a pretty okay view from up here, yeah? Like there's my little shop, well, it's a storage shed right now, but that's where the shop will eventually be. But uh, yeah. Let's get to work on patching some walls so that we can get some paint in and get, you know, get everything done and get it painted before uh, Home Depot shows up. Got about a month. This is gonna take me like two days, three days tops, but uh, might as well get it done now. All right, I've got some uh, Westpac Easy Patch Lightweight Spackling Compound here. That's what I've been using to fill the holes, do all my patch work. Um, it seems to work pretty good. It wasn't super expensive or anything like that. It's gonna Get it all set up here. One thing I do like to do, though, and this is a personal preference on my part. I like that a little water. And then I mix it up. 
that was the sound I'm, that I make when I mix it up. I'm not gonna bore you with me mixing it up. But uh, I'll mix that up. It'll give me a little bit of a lighter compound to work with. Makes it easier to do all the pinhole filling that I have to do. If I have something super big or something I really need to, I'll just grab some out of the bucket. But uh, this is gonna work for everything we're doing today. After it's all mixed up, this is the consistency that we end up with. Nice, fluffy, easy to work with. And uh, like I said, for what we're doing today, this will work great for filling pinholes. Okay, for real, for realsies, for realsies, for realsies talk here. Who, who does this? Who does this to a wall? Did you just, did someone just take like a needle and just like shank the wall with it or something? Do I even want to, Okay, that's fine, we'll get over it, we gotta do this. Sometimes, just, just for the record, sometimes when I get in positions like this where my brain's like scrambling and stuff, you're gonna hear weird things come out of my mouth like, Schnoobles, schnoob, schnibbly. Those are just a few of the words. I just kind of uh, have my own little lingo that comes out sometimes. So if you hear that, just roll with it.
that is everything up here at eye level. Um, I still need to do like windowsill in below, but a uh, little, uh, little patch job there. As you can see, it was, it was just so many holes. I literally just started just slapping that putty on there, uh, wiping her down. And when I next get up here, uh, probably tomorrow, I will do a quick sand over these walls with just a block sander, knock off any excess uh, filler. And I hate skip trowel. Just, I hate skip trowel and I hate the people who, I don't hate the people, but I hate whoever its idea was to put holes in our walls. But my day is not complete. We're not ending this day uh, without a much needed trip to the beach. So we're gonna go do that. And make sure you stay tuned for after the little beach segment because uh, I am gonna fill you in on um, what I mean when I refer to our house falling down in the goalie. The dogs are still, <laughs> they're still exhausted from the morning poop walk. All right, it's a little windy, but uh, I'm gonna go chill with the ocean for a little bit. Um, uh, freaking amazing out here. I appreciate you watching the video today. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. This was the first like uh, day in the life of or whatever video for me. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you do as well because I'd like to make more of them. And um, stay tuned. Like I said, after this clip, there will be an explanation to the house falling down in the goalie. And in the meantime, I'm gonna flip the camera, uh, the camera around here so you can enjoy uh, what I'm gonna go enjoy. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like what you see, you see what you like, please sub to the channel. It'd mean a lot to me. Thumbs up the video, leave a comment. I'll make sure to reply to every one of them. Uh, anything to help uh, grow in the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all. Have a good one, stay blessed. All right, a little earlier in my video, I mentioned our house may be falling into a ravine. Um, I may have, may be a little dramatic about that, um, but I mean, you be the judge of it yourself. So. Like I said, that the house had had foundation repair. Uh, things were taken care of, certified stamparonis and stuff, but like you're never gonna get it like perfectly level. Also, you, you, well here, let me just show you. Ready for this? Y'all ready for this? All right, so this is the side of my house that faces down into the ravine or the gully. It's where my septic uh, pump to pump everything up to the tank goes, everything like that. Uh, the goalie is, is like split property between me and three other neighbors. I haven't even begun to venture down there. Like I'm going to have a whole video series about adventuring down there and what I find. I know there's a trampoline, <laughs> but anyways, this is the condition of the soil. And this is the problem. Like the house has a little lean from the incident and having to be repaired, obviously. Uh, but like, look at so like this stuff right here. That's scary. That's a little scary. This right here, this is all a little freaky. How this just kind of goes goes down there. So that's something that uh, there'll definitely be a video update about. You can see here where those repairs were done. So it's definitely an interesting situation to be in. But it, uh, it's not the end of the world. Hey, look, they left us a bucket down there. Like I said, we'll have a whole video series devoted to the, the house, the property, the goalie, the ravine, whatever you want to call it, all that stuff. And uh, how we plan on saving the house and actually adding land to this back section here, fixing our retaining wall, and eventually kind of cleaning up our gully a bit to get it look like our neighbors, uh, not only to clean it up, but to be able to prevent further erosion from happening. So there'll be a video about it. There'll be more in the series, but this is just your little sneaky peeky and I hope you enjoyed.